I'm going to show you how to set up step by step the Samsung Galaxy A53 smartphone. Now take note that I'm only going to show you how to set everything up and in the next video I'll put a link below how you can insert your SIM card after everything is set up. Okay. Anyway, after you turn on your phone, first thing you're in the welcome screen here, you have to choose your language. So for, for me, I'm fine with English here, so I'm going to tap on start. For your review, you want to go ahead and click on the details and read through these, but you must click at least the first two to proceed. Down the third one here is optional, okay? But I'm fine with all of them checked. I'm going to tap on I agree. Permissions for Samsung apps and services. You can see what they turned on by default. Go ahead and toggle off the ones that you don't want. I'm fine with all of these toggled on, okay? So for myself, I'm going to tap on agree. I'm going to go ahead and choose my Wi-Fi network now. You can always do this later if you wish, but I'm going to do mine now. I want to get that latest update. Let me put in my password to my Wi-Fi. I just put in my Wi-Fi password. I'm going to tap on connect right there. It says connected. Checking for updates. This may take a few minutes. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. Okay, so you can transfer them from a different device. If you want to do that, you tap on next here, and you can go ahead and read through the prompts here. Okay, you'll need your old Android phone or an iPhone or iPad. Okay, now for me, I want a fresh clean slate here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on back here, and I'm just going to click on don't copy for myself. So don't copy. And it's asking for your Google account. You can go ahead and put your Gmail in, your email and your password, or you can create an account here. Or you can go ahead and skip and do it later. I'm just going to skip later. I don't remember my password, so I'm just going to skip for now. Google services. Now, these are all optional, okay? So use location. You can turn that on or you can turn it off. Allow scanning. I'm fine with all of them toggled on. I'm going to tap on accept. Protect your phone. Now, you can skip this, but I would recommend to go ahead and put in some kind of password in now, and we can put a, a face recognition, password, fingerprints, pattern pin, or password. Okay, we can, I mean, we can do, um, you can do a face, face ID password and fingerprints, and you can do a pin password or a uh, pattern as well. Okay, so for this video, I'm just going to do just a fingerprints. So I'm going to tap on fingerprints here. And then I'm going to tap on continue down here. Now, before we do the fingerprint password, we will have to set up a pattern, pin, or regular password. Okay, so choose one of these first, just in case if your, um, your uh, fingerprint doesn't work or sometimes when you uh, restart your phone, it's going to ask you for a pin or password. Okay, so go ahead and uh, make a pin or password. I'm fine with just a four digit pin here. I'm going to tap on continue right there. I'm going to reconfirm it again. And I'm going to tap on OK after I confirmed it. Now it's time to do our fingerprint password. And we can see the sensor down here. So let me put a finger on there. I'll use my thumb. And we're just going to go up, down, up, down until it's all filled with green up here. So just keep putting your finger or thumb on there. OK, now what we're going to do is continue here. So just keep on going up, down up down just keep on going okay now make sure you adjust your finger position slightly each time so just kind of move your finger in a different area just keep on going all right now we can go ahead and add another fingerprint if you wish, okay? We already have one in there. Or you can add another fingerprint later if you wish, okay? So I'm done with just one. I'm going to tap on next right there. Get your phone ready. Your Samsung account, you can go ahead and put your Samsung account email information in. Or you can go ahead, if you don't have one, you can create an account. Or you can skip this and do this later. Or you can skip it and never do it. I'm just going to skip it. I don't even need to sign into my Samsung account says you're all set up. Tap on finish right there. And 
voila we are in business okay so from here I'm gonna go ahead and put in my sim card if you want to see that video look in the description below for the link good luck guys